this is George's nine month update as you would have seen by the title and I'm really excited to tell you guys so much that he's been doing over the last month since my last update if you haven't seen my last update i've done them ever since he was four months old and he's changed a hell of a lot so if you want to see like the progress that he has gone through over the last five months it's crazy i can't believe it the first thing to mention is the fact that george is now pulling himself up on things standing like holding himself onto things and he is like cruising along things as well so it's crazy to see that he can pull himself up on things he's doing it on the tv stand he's doing it on the sofa he's doing it in his cot he's like cruising along things i find it so crazy that he's doing that and he's also got this little baby walker that he's absolutely loving and pulling himself along in that i mean i'm there with him like supporting him if he needs it but he's generally pretty good at holding the walker and pushing along like actually putting one foot in front of the other which i find absolutely mad like i can't believe that he's doing that and he literally came out of absolutely nowhere he's still crawling really really quickly like as soon as you open a door he is there like he is ready to go out of that door whether that's out of the patio door whether that's out of the front door he's literally crawling so so quickly it's mad when he gets to a door he's always trying to put himself up on the door as well um he's obsessed with hinges which is really dangerous i know so i really have to get to baby proofing the house as much as i possibly can it scares me a lot but i'm always there with him making sure that he doesn't hurt himself or anything and so far so good he hasn't hurt himself dramatically at all he's like bumped his head and stuff but only on like the carpet or the bathing mat so he's not like hurt himself he's just been like oh i've fallen over george has still got two teeth he hasn't had any more teeth since his last update but i can see lots of like white dots all at the top of his mouth so i feel like he's definitely teething and teeth are coming through as we speak so probably next month he will have a few extra teeth which yeah it's just crazy because my little like gummy bear baby is no longer and he's got teeth and at least he's going to be able to eat a lot more um you know things that he can chew and things but at the moment he's just got his two teeth and he's managing okay with food to be fair he still loves food like loads his favorite things are banana um, he absolutely, he would smash like three bananas if I gave them to him. He loves banana so much. He's loving sweet potato still, sweet potato wedges. I do for him and then I peel the skin off and he just, again, smashes those. He absolutely loves them. And anything with blueberries in, he's obsessed with. I do these little blueberry muffins with oats and blueberries and banana loves them i don't know if it's the banana he loves or the blueberries but he tends to get really messy with the blueberries so yeah he definitely really really loves them it is really funny though when he's finished with food if i'm like spoon feeding him something or if he's got loads of stuff on his tray still i try and just get a spoon and try and feed him sometimes he's like ready yeah give it to me other times he's like absolutely no i am not putting that in my mouth purses his lips shut like this and he doesn't open his mouth at all so it is really funny to see, but I guess when he's finished, he's finished. He's like, no more, mum, please, no more. He's also getting really, really good with drinking water, which is so good. He's drinking it out of every single cup that I've got for him now. He's got his Tommy Tippy cup, which he was always drinking from pretty well, but he holds it himself now with one hand. I mean, he tips it upside down quite a lot as well, but that's okay. He's also drinking really well out of his Munchkin 361, which he wasn't doing too well out of before, but he can actually get water out of it now, and it doesn't spill, which is a massive bonus. The other one that he's got is just one with a like a straw, and he just drinks out of that as well. I think he enjoys the straw one the most, but then sometimes he's not even thirsty, and he'll drink out of it, and then he'll just spit it straight back out, but yeah, he is drinking water loads, which I think is really good, especially in the hot months that we are coming up to. He is loving bath time still, and he absolutely, like, I think he needs it at the end of the night, because he's so, like, pumped up throughout the day, that it really calms him down, it mellows him, like, if it's warm outside, I'll just do, like, a lukewarm bath, but he'll still get really, like, comfortable and like relaxed and stuff for the evening and then wrapped him up in his towel and he's like rubbing his eyes and stuff so he's ready for bed after the bath however in the bath he is now literally like he'll be on his um well I'll put him on his back and he will straight away thrash to his front and he'll either put his face in the water which is obviously not the best idea um but then he'll like turn around again he'll use the handles on the side of the bath to like put himself up he'll just sit up on his own so I do kind of think I need to get one of those like rubber mats or something like that the seat just didn't work for us anymore because he was just like climbing out of it it was more of a safety hazard than it was worth I think but yeah nonetheless he enjoys bath time it is just the 
bit more of a mission than it used to be. We've had a couple of waves out of him. He kind of goes like this a couple of times, but not really consistently. I'll always wave to him when I'm like leaving the room to go to the kitchen or something. Um, and he'll generally like follow me, crawl after me like this. So yeah, he, he does wave a couple of times, but he's not like consistent. He is saying mama and he is saying dada, but he doesn't really say it in context, if you know what I mean. He kind of just says it in like his babbling, babbling, babbling. And if he wants to get out of something, like his high chair or the jumperoo, he will be like, mama, mama. So he kind of knows to ask for me if he's like uncomfortable, I guess. And then he'll say dada when he's happy, it tends to be, which is always the way, of course. So thanks for that, George. He is, however, getting a little bit frustrated, like straight away, if he doesn't get what he wants. So if I have got like a food on a spoon for him and I don't give it to him like immediately after he's finished that first mouthful, he will be like, oh, why have you not given that to me? And then I'll try and give it to him and he'll be like, no, and he'll point blank refuse it, even though it's exactly what he wants. So it's like one of those little mini tantrums. Obviously at some point, he'll have to learn that patience is a good thing but I feel like it's a little bit too young for him to do that at the moment. His sleep has been a little bit crazy this month I can't lie so according to my Huckleberry alerts that I get you can sign up for them um, and they email you pretty much every time it's something to do with sleep. It's completely free you can get the like paid edition but I only have the free version and I think it's really really good because it gives you a heads up on things that might happen and lo and behold he's definitely hit the nine month sleep progression. According to the email alert that Huckleberry sent me it could be down to the fact that he is transitioning from three naps a day to two naps a day and by the end of the day he'll obviously be quite tired because he hasn't had that third nap so it could be the fact that he's overtired leading to a bit more of a stressful nighttime routine I guess it could be down to separation anxiety the fact that he isn't with us and at nighttime obviously he's not going to be with us so that's definitely something it also said something about the fact that they are moving a lot more so they're more mobile and they've got more like skills that they are learning and things like that and the fact that around this age they're going to be teething because teeth are growing etc like I said George has got a few coming through at the top so yeah, I, I mean, it could be a mixture of all of those things, but I think there's definitely something in the mobility thing because like I said, he's pulling himself up on the cot bars. We've dropped the cot down, obviously. He's pulling himself up on the cot bars and he's just literally standing there. He's not crying. He's not like doing anything. If anything, he's just babbling to himself, but he'll just be standing there like wide awake, looking up at the monitor. And he's just like practicing that skill that he's learned throughout the day. And I guess it's just like party time in his cot. I don't know, sometimes he's crying, sometimes he's not. I don't know what to do, to be honest. If you guys have any suggestions, I would be very, very grateful. But I think it is just a matter of getting through this phase and trying to continue like the good practice that we've always had. He's always had a really, really good sleep routine. He's always been a really good sleeper. So it's just like when it hits, it hits like a ton of bricks and I just don't know what to do really. I will be doing an updated nine to 12 month baby routine because I did do one for six to nine months and that schedule has like changed quite a lot to now so i will do one in the next couple of videos where i do his updated nine to twelve month baby routine i would like to do it in maybe a couple of weeks time where his sleep hopefully has got a little bit better so that i can give a couple of tips from my experience i mean not that i'm an expert at all every baby is so different but if you wanted to see that then do hit subscribe down below because that is going to be coming up very soon i'll link the playlist down below where i go through all of george's baby routines from when he was really really tiny up until now and i'll also link the individual videos for the six to nine month baby routine as well if you want to check that out because george is so mobile now nappy changes have become the bane of my life especially dirty nappies like wet nappies like are still a struggle but dirty nappies like let me tell you are the most difficult task when it comes to a mobile baby as soon as he's on his back he flips to his front he's crawling off it's just a bit of a nightmare but what I've ended up doing is giving him this little handheld mirror to hold when I'm doing nappy changes and he's either looking at himself in that or like having it to the side and like checking himself out. So it gives me about 20 seconds of free time before he realises that that's a distraction technique and yeah. So any other suggestions for nappy changes for mobile babies would be very appreciated because it's a struggle. It's a struggle. I have moved on to pull up nappies though because of the whole it's just easier when you have a mobile baby. So we've just got the, I think we're getting the ones from Asda, but we've also used Pampers, which are really good. I think the ones from Pampers are probably the best, but obviously they're a little bit more expensive. They do have the tag on it that you can wrap around like a dirty nappy like you would with like the normal nappies. So I just think they are better, to be honest. He's generally a very, very happy 
baby still, which is lovely, even when he's in a moody mood. Like if he's in, you know, one of them whiny moods or like that whinge that we all know and love, we can always still get a smile out of him if we give him a bit of tickle or we're playing with him or that kind of thing. It's just, he just needs that constant attention, that constant stimulation, which can be quite draining let's face it george is also starting childcare next month like properly so he's going to go in one day a week until i go back to work and then he's going to be going four days a week which i am really nervous about i can't lie i'm really really nervous about it however he has already done his first taster session he went in for the morning and it went really really well he had so much fun he barely even noticed that i wasn't there so that's obviously really positive and i really hope that by doing one day a week it's like an easier transition for him to get into going like almost full time like four days a week so yeah i am nervous about it but hopefully it's gonna be okay he's also obsessed with cupboards already like i really need like i said already to baby proof this house as much as i possibly can because he's in every single cupboard he's in every single drawer that is at his level so yeah i would love your recommendations again about baby proofing there's a specific cupboard actually the one that you're like sat on right now the camera is on it's this cupboard right here in my living room it's like a really old sort of sideboard I guess and it is just not one that's going to be easily baby proofed at all but he's in it all of the time luckily enough the only thing that's in the cupboard is just a couple of cookbooks that we don't really use so we probably should just get rid of them but he just loves it he loves opening closing doors but not like closing closing just sort of like swinging them like this it's his favorite thing to do he's absolutely obsessed george is now having three six ounce bottles of milk a day and he's also then having three meals a day plus a snack so he's properly properly eating since we dropped down his bottles he's definitely eating a lot more which is good apparently around this age they only need about 17 ounces a day of formula for all of their nutrients so the rest is easily made up with food and obviously i'm making sure that all of his food that i give him is like complementary to that it's got lots of iron in it and all of the other nutrients that he might need but like i said earlier we are definitely going to be doing an updated baby routine video aren't we oh my god you are so wiggly you just want to grab everything that's another thing if something's in sight he will have it especially my hair but that's always been the case <laughs> that is everything for today's video guys but if you wanted to see any more of george and his adventures on our realistic week of a first time mum videos or if you wanted to see his updated baby routine video then do subscribe and i will be uploading those very very soon but for now is goodbye from us george you're just trying to get everything look at you gonna say bye to everyone ready bye you are so fidgety, you know that. <laughs> right, okay guys, see you later. Bye. Because you glue all the pieces back together. Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better. Yeah, you, you're making me want to try forever. I feel so free, oh my sweet baby.